that is a hearty meal. To the wild. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm the Danimal, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to cook a curry in the woods. Now, if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so down here. That helps the channel out loads. Um, keep watching and you'll learn how to make a chickpea curry whilst wild camping. Awesome. So when I'm not normally wild camping, what I do is I'll take some dried foods, um, which aren't always that great and that healthy for you. I know for longer expeditions, when I go on them, I will take freeze dried foods with me just to, because carrying uh, fresh food can be quite hard. But on my overnights, my 24 hours or you know two days, I can at least carry, sacrifice a bit of weight to carry some really good nutritious food that's cheap to buy and cheap to make and delicious. So with that, what, what I've got today is I've got my ingredients. I've got some oil here. I've got my mixed herbs. This is all the stuff I prepare before I come out camping, wild camping. So in here I've got mixed herbs, I've got curry powder, I've got cumin seeds, paprika, um, garlic granules, salt and pepper, and chili seeds. I think I said that, but yeah, that's what's in there. So I'll put a, I'll put a menu up, an ingredients list up actually, uh, in the links below, in the comments below. Um, I've got a couple of teaspoons of oil, then I've got some garlic and uh, ginger paste in there, and uh, one sweet potato, one red onion, just under half a tin of chopped tomatoes, and in here I've mixed, this is going to be um, my bread, so this is a bit of uh, 130 grams of flour with cumin seeds, chilli oil, a uh, bit of yoghurt and a bit of milk mixed up in there and salt and pepper. That's going to be my naan bread. And also, I was filming this last week, but the camera switched off. So I filmed the whole meal and only got the very beginning bit of it. Um, and because I'd left the oil uh, at home, I couldn't cook the naan breads how I wanted them. So I just dropped them in the curry as it cooked. And we made, I made a lovely, um, uh, what do you call them? dumplings, curried dumplings, which were delicious. So I'm going to do half of that as the naan, half as dumplings. And I've got some chickpeas here and I've got some uh, coconut milk. So what am I making? Today I'm going to be making a really good favourite simple dish of mine and, and that is a chickpea curry uh, with naan breads. I made, I prepared it at home, you know, so you go out and spend eight, nine quid on a, on a, on a really good um, freeze dried food or whatever or you spend 80p on some pot noodles or something whereas this stuff's full of nutrition it costs me less than a fiver i can prepare it at home it's going to be a bit heavier than the food i take yeah but then i'm eating a decent meal and i'd rather eat a decent meal than a than a not decent meal so i found this this is great this is a chopping board really thin hardly weighs anything and slips into the back of my bag when i go camping all this stuff stores nicely in a dry bag um, and then I've got all my kit ready to go. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to chop up the onions and we'll get the onion on first. So I've got a red onion here. Got my trusty Swiss Army knife. So we're going to chop up the onion. Better move that down out of the way. Um, here which is nice. Peel the skin off. Cut it as small as you can. I'm no master chef, I just enjoy eating really good food. Um, and it was when I was out staying in the cave with Elliot and he brought all his um, lovely food, all his stuff, I was like, what am I doing? Why? I usually bring good stuff. I remember when I was doing my mountain leader course or mountain training course many years ago now there was me and a guy there and um, everyone else had their freeze dry food and I was like why why can't I just go and buy some peppers cook it in the um, kitchen that we were staying in the night before 
and these bit and baked some salmon and we packed it all up in tin foil, wrapped it in our in, in dry bags and took it out of us on a night out and everyone's huddled around, it's pouring rain and they're trying to heat up their 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 ration packs or whatever they had and we had this lovely gourmet delicious meal that we could we could have. So onions there. Let's get the stove up lit. That's good there. Let's get a bit of oil in there. So probably about a teaspoon. Um, while that oil's heating up, I can uh, just peel my sweet potato. Right, I've just, while I was talking to you, I um, peeled, I forgot what I was doing, and I peeled the sweet potato over my onions. Not that the skin is that bad for you, but you kind of don't want it in your youngs. Okay, so let's take that off and put that in my tub so I can remember always what you pack out you pack what well, always what you pack in you pack out so I've got that there right onions can go in um, then we'll cut up the potato So what we're doing now is just letting those onions get a bit of flavour. They'll cook for a, a minute or two, um, just so they go a bit transparent. And then what we do, the key thing with a curry is you want to flavour your oil. And, and that's what we do with our, our, our mixture I've got here. So I'm going to chuck these in as well. So they just sweat off a little bit, so they take a bit to take a bit of time to cook. It's probably the longest thing in here that takes to cook is sweet potatoes. So there's nothing else to chop up. So while that's simmering down, I can pull my bread out of here. Now this is really easy to make. I did 130 grams of self-raising flour, all-purpose flour, self-raising, all-purpose. Um, I had uh, two tablespoons of yoghurt and then um, enough milk to loosen the... Um, bread down to make it into a dough and then inside that there's there's the, the yogurt's mixed in the milk's mixed in and then it's got cumin seeds um, and it's got a sprinkle of curry powder and a bit of chili in that just to give it a bit more flavor um, and then mix it together into dough and then put it into a ziploc bag which you can carry with you so i'm just going to cut that in half one's going to be for the naan bread the other bit i can rip in half and i can make a couple of little dumplings out of that or three so it's going to be a full-on meal and this is really good when you're out you, you know like really simple to make um really nutritious and full of lots of good energy right so now the oil's hot i'm actually cooking on a really wobbly bench Um, also, with your kit, with your Trangier kits, what you can do is buy these um, chopping boards and you can just cut them to fit inside your Trangier pans. Okay, now that oil's heated up, I'm just going to sprinkle about a two thirds of that in there. I'll save the rest of it for the end to add the extra flavour. And the key, like I said, the key thing is you want to flavour your oil, that's where all the flavour comes in in the food. So we'll give that about a minute, 30 seconds, just to, just to get that flavour to work. That's good, we'll pour this in. Then I've got my chopped tomatoes. They can go in as well. And then just give that a stir and then I'll put in my ginger paste. A 
gingery, woo, and garlicky. Okay, stirring spoon. What I will need to get as well is, when I let that cook, I'll go and get my windshield to stop the wind blowing the heat away so it cooks a bit quicker. Ingo, that is just under half a tin of chickpeas in there. Got the windbreaker, that'll help with the cooking times. Okay, so we've got the boil on there. What we'll do now is we'll place our dumplings in here. Should have given it a stir first. But these non-stick pans are great. So yeah, just submerge your dumplings in there. Drop them in. There you go, in they go. I'll put the lid back on and that'll cook for another five minutes, five-ish, ten minutes. We'll check, check there in a moment. Meanwhile, while that's doing that, what we can do, what I can do, just sprinkle a little bit more flavour on top there. Okay, it can all go in and that'll just work its way in. Got my naan bread here. There you go, that's about the size I want. That's roughly, don't want it any bigger than that. There you go. That's ready to go in the frying pan, and I'll fry that in a moment once that's once that's cooked. And then what I do is my curry. A curry tastes better when it's cooled slightly as well. It helps all the flavours sort of infuse, I believe. Um, so I let that cook for five more minutes. Um, meanwhile, that's cooking, I'll just pack all this stuff away. Just let that cook away. Basically, you want to see the bubbles forming on the top. I might have rolled it a bit thick. I'm not really sure. I'm not really um, a naan bread maker, but um, I thought I'd give it a go. And we'll see what happens. Either way, it's going to be great in that curry. We'll just toast it away. Let's just try and make it a little bit thinner. I eat those crispy bits. Because they're amazing. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going to concede defeat on my naan bread. I've got a... Oh, oh it tastes so good. I've got a couple of small bits look cooked but the rest is pretty inedible so um, that's a lesson learned I bung that on there just to give it a quick heat I've still got a nice bit of warmth in it oh wow that's good Oh, it was so good. Let's go and uh, find somewhere comfy to sit and eat. Okay, so that's my wilderness wild camping cooking recipe with my very, whoops, very small piece of naan bread. I'll need to work on that again. It's been my chickpea curry. I'll try it now, it smells delicious. Oh, that's so good, especially with those dumplings. Mm. That is a hearty meal. So that's been curry cooking in the woods with dumplings, very small pieces of naan bread, lots of wind in the sky. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so down in the bottom corner. I can never remember which one it is. Somewhere down there it says subscribe. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please share and leave comments below of what you'd like to see me do next. Whether it's cooking, whether it's going out wild camping, just let me know in the comments next. Thanks a lot everybody. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of my curry. Back to the wild!